Hey, David, good morning. These are two names that have really taken a big leg down in recent months. First up, Oatly hitting a new 52-week low this week of just over $4, down about 70% over the last six months. Now, the big storyline at the company has been ramping up production, but that has been both expensive and timely. Guggenheim noting that in the U.S. it was hit with issues related to spare parts and electricity at its Ogden, Utah plant, which had production at about half capacity in March. Supply is tightest for the U.S. business. The firm says that Oatly's at about 85% volume for Starbucks oat milk drinks this year, and other suppliers will have to supplement the coffee giant in the meantime. Now, Beyond Meat also down around 60 percent in the last six months. 2022 is the year for big partnerships with both Pepsi and brands like McDonald's. Now, it just launched a jerky product with Pepsi. It also expanded its chicken nuggets more into retail, which has been struggling compared to its restaurant business. But Pete Slay at BTIG said a few weeks back that the product was underperforming the McPlant at franchisee expectations, and a national rollout for that was not likely in the near future. Now, last quarter, CEO Ethan Brown pointed to intensified competition in the U.S. over the last year with many new entrants. And on that point of market saturation, the Good Food Institute says that there are now more than 1,000 plant-based food and drink brands in the U.S. That includes 123 that launched in 2021 alone. Back over to you.